For Selmer's Pet Land in Huntington Station, if a bill banning the retail sale of pets is signed into law, it could put the over 80-year-old shop out of business. The state of New York, it no longer feels like there's, a, there's a, ch a freedom of choice. Jessica Selmer takes pride in what she calls the safe sale of live companion animals, which she says accounts for 80% of sales. While the third generation owner of the pet store is pro-rescue, she says it's just not for everyone. <laughs> she insists the dogs she sells all come from reputable and regular breeders with proper paperwork. She says it's not fair to be forced to source animals from nonprofit adoption organizations. I feel just manipulated and I feel like the government is taking my business from me. But Assembly Member Linda Rosenthal, who sponsored the bill, says it's a way to put a dent in what she calls the puppy mill to pet store pipeline. The legislation would encourage the adoption of dogs and cats from rescue shelters instead of buying animals supplied by who she calls abusive breeders. I've seen the heartbreak. People who have bought these dogs in pet stores for like $5,000 and up, and we know they come from puppy mills. They're congenitally um, sick. They are often incurable. David Seely, executive director of Little Shelter Animal Rescue and Adoption Center, says the legislation is long overdue. People would experience heartbreak from a lot of this situation and really didn't know what they were supporting. Um, so I think it's a massive win for the animals and the people. Officials say the sale of pets only accounts for about 2% of revenue in pet stores, but owners who are deemed essential workers during the pandemic disagree. If it was 2% of my business, I wouldn't waste my, my heart and my soul. We reached out to Governor Hochul's office. We're told she's reviewing the legislation. Now, once she receives the bill, she'll have 10 days to sign off on it. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.